The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Good night, man. Jim from Minneapolis. We're going to take it by storm. Take it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man, yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday, Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy, commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Practice makes the master. Always do your best. By doing your best over and over, you can master the art of transformation. By doing your best, the habits of misusing your word, taking things personally, and making assumptions will simply become weaker and less frequent with time. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 21, NASDAQ off 10, S&P's off 3.5, gold contract down $8.90, trading at $14.65 an ounce. Silver down 4 cents, $17.07 .07 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Let me pull up light sweet crude over here. There we go. Light sweet crude trading up 154. That's quite a bid. $58.56 a barrel. And what you get with light sweet crude, this is this got you over the top of the consolidation that we've been in, uh, going all the way back to uh, November 4th. So bottom line is that that does put game game on once again into the 60 to 61 dollar mark. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note down 10 ticks, 129.15. The 30-year off 20 at 159.22 and King Dollar. King Dollar up 66 ticks, trading at 97.999. The Euro is at 110. The Yen is at 108.66. And the Pound is at 129 to 1 U.S. dollar. My phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have out here? Okay, so check it out. If you just... Uh, Heard that update on the news update at the top of the hour. Uh, bottom line is that we're going to go over this once again. And what you have is this. <clears throat> you have the S&P as well as the NASDAQ and Dow Industrials. The rejected lower price out here, you're going to have lighter volume. What we had out here Tuesday in the SPY, you made an all-time high, $312.69. You did that now at 67 million shares. You come off that high with 79 million. So... You got an expansion of volume, nothing heavy, though. I mean, 10 million shares is nothing inside the SPY. That being said, guess what? There's no more sellers up here. Uh, you're down 20 cents. You get 32 million shares. That's saying it's going to go right for the high once again, which is 312.69. NDX100 is the indice that yesterday started lower, had monster volume on the way down. Bottom line, same type of setup, however. Uh, NDX 100 also made that high out there on Tuesday, $203.84. You did it with $16.9 million. You come off that high with 36 Today, you get 14 Now, you didn't reach the lows of yesterday and any of the indices. And all that does, folks, is just makes it more probable that, guess what, this thing's going to go right for its high once again. I expect you're going to see the volume contract once again. Oh, it's going to be really intriguing is that we'll look to see, does the volume contract even more so than the highs that were established out here on Tuesday? If that's what you get, bottom line, that's still saying the market wants to go into lower price. Notes and bonds basically also are saying the same thing. Now, this is about as deviant as you can get, and the note and bond market just love doing this. And what I'm talking about specifically is this. They move on a continual basis, whether you're going up or down. And the bottom line is that when they, when they move with the type of volume that we have out here today, uh, that's a market that wants higher price. 
2.4 million contracts were done inside the 10-year out here. You got to a, a price point today of 130.02. That being said, guess what? You couldn't hold price. Now, when you go to higher highs and can't hold price, what I've seen is that, yes, you, get, you pull back, you pull back, you pull back with a little lot of volume, and then guess what? You're right top side once again. What's going to get intriguing here, of course, is that we right now are at the beginning of holiday trading for Thanksgiving, okay? And the way Thanksgiving shakes out here, right, is that we come, in, we come back into work next week. You go Monday, Tuesday, bottom line. Now, the market's open all day Wednesday, but bottom line is that we know on Thanksgiving it's one of the, the largest travel holidays in the whole calendar year. People leave their desk 11, 12 o'clock at noon, uh, noon on Wednesday, we're closed Thursday. Friday is a half a day. Most folks don't, folks don't even come in a half a day. In fact, that's the only day that we are actually closed when the market's open. So, you know, all our staff can also basically be with their family, groove, have a nice long weekend. So what that sets up, that sets up a market that can get pushed anywhere, and you're going to have tremendously lighter volume. So it looks to me like at uh, this particular point where on vacation watch right now, uh, holiday watch right now, uh, bottom line is that we'll see where this uh, baby shakes out. Notes and bonds, though, they continue to want higher price. In fact, if we go over and watch this, uh, we'll look at the TLT, which is the ETF structure for the 20-year bond fund. And what you're going to see here, oh, this sets it up nice, man. This is pretty wild. So same type of setup. Uh, the TLT yesterday, bottom line, well, Tuesday goes higher with 7.8 million shares. Yesterday it goes higher with 7.9 million shares, and you're backing off with 4.5. This is basically, you, you go up with volume, you pull back with lighter volume. This still wants higher price, lower yield. King dollar, king dollar, bottom line is that bulls and bears are still fighting uh, over the 98 level. We're at 97, 995. Um, you know, we, we made it down a couple weeks ago to the 97 level. Come off the highs of that 99 level, uh, 99,667 to be exact. You did the counter trend bounce up here to 98,447. Uh, we'll see where this uh, baby can shake out, meaning can it get, a, get back, back up in, into those levels. If we actually go take a look at the counter of the dollar, and what I mean specifically is that, you know, it's going to be the euro. The, euro, the dollar index is 60% euro. Euro today, bottom line, got to a higher price, 110.97, then gave it up. We're at 110.58. That pound does look like it wants to go to higher price, but the pound is a small part of the U.S. dollar index. If we go take a look at this British pound right now, you're going to see the pound is trading out at 129.03. Uh, this looks like it wants to do that 132 uh, number. Bottom line, you got to the uh, 129.70 uh, level today, and the 130.13 is the high that was established out here on the 21st of October. So bottom line, uh, sideways move. What I expect we're going to see coming into the close right now, they're going to try to basically get this market going from slightly red to slightly green. Dow Industrials down 12, NASDAQ off 9, S&P's off 2.5. We'll come right back.